Hello, this is Don Campbell. Welcome to this Expand to Web screencast. Today I'd like to show you how to get WordPress installed up and running in five minutes or less. WordPress is such a powerful tool, not only for blogs, but for small business websites as well. But it can be challenging to get it set up correctly. If you choose a hosting provider with cPanel and Fantastico, or a hosting provider like Bluehost, you can get WordPress set up in no time flat. So let's go in and set up a blog right now. First, I'm going to log into my control panel for Bluehost. From here, you'll see a whole bunch of um, things. I can manage all the aspects of my hosting account. But if I scroll down, you'll see a little smiley face icon for the Fantastico tool. Now, Fantastico is um, it's a script library that automates the installation of web applications like WordPress. And when I go into this screen, you see a whole bunch of things over on the left-hand side that I can do. But what we're interested in here is WordPress. So I'm going to click on that. And the tool is going to bring up for me a little screen that shows me a summary of my WordPress installations. So this is a test account that I have. And I've got a number of current installations. But what we want to do is click on New Installation here. And it's going to present me with a number of things, um, just a few fields to fill out to get my WordPress install going. First, it wants me to pick from a list of available domains that I have installed on my uh, test account here. I'm going to go ahead and pick one of those. Then it asks for which directory do I want the blog installed in. Now a lot of people go back and forth on this. Should I install my blog in the parent directory, you know, right at my domain at the root level or in a subdirectory? It really depends on the architecture of your site. Um, I think it's fine to install it at the root directory of the domain. Uh, for this case, I'm just going to type it in. Um, I'm going to install it in a directory called blog4, uh, but you can do it, you know, whatever makes sense for your site. Um, here I'm going to set up an administrator account and password, and keep track of this because you're going to need this to log into your WordPress later and customize it. Then I need to set up a, an email address that it can send information about my account to, and then give the site a name. And um, I'm just going to type in some basic uh, information here. We can change this later, but this is the name of your site that WordPress will use in the description of the site. I'm going to click on the button called Install, and WordPress is going to go, I'm sorry, Fantastico is going to go and create an instance of WordPress, copy over the files that it needs, create the database, and do all that for me. So now I've got the URL to my blog is right here, and I'm going to click on Finish Installation and wrap things up. What happens next is it gives me a chance um, to email the details of this installation. And I always go do this anyway, just in case I had a problem earlier and typed in the wrong email address or something like that. This way your account credentials, the URL, the admin user ID and password will be sent to this um, email address. So that you've got it there, you can search for it later if you need to. Um, in any event, uh, now I'm back to the summary screen. And it tells me that the new um, the new blog has been installed. So I'm going to go and take a look at this. Actually, I think it, it was um, typed in the wrong URL here. It's number four. So this is the blog we just installed. And it's all set, ready to go. Now we're going to go log in um, using that administrator user ID and password that we created earlier. And jump right into the administrative screen for WordPress. From here, I can go in and adjust all the things about the site that I need. Um, and in, in the next screencast, I'll show you guys how to set up a static page for your blog as the home page in case you don't want it to look like a blog like a lot of my customers do to manage their content on their small business website. So thanks for watching and make sure to let me know if you get any questions in the comments below. Thanks.